Is it possible to take multiple MIDI outputs from multiple MIDI sources and merge them together to one single destination? I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in today's video with gear from iConnectivity. Hey everyone, this is Will and we are back in our simple series where I'm showing you how to do simple things with iConnectivity gear. Now iConnectivity gear obviously is great at taking complex tasks and making it simple, but how well can it manage simple tasks? Here's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna take two uh, signals, two different outputs from multiple pieces of gear, and I wanna merge those together to one single destination. The way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use the Mio XM from iConnectivity. Uh, this has four DIN inputs and outputs. You could also check out the Mio XL, which has a lot more DIN inputs and outputs, but this is what we're going to use for today. Now, I've already got this powered up. You can see my power here, and I've already got it connected to my computer via USB. Uh, let's start making our connections. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start with my first um, uh, MIDI output, okay? And I'm going to swap the uh, device, turn it over here, and I'm going to plug my inputs into the back here just to make this uh, real easy to manage and see. Okay, so there's our first connection from our first MIDI output. Now, let's take our other connection here. We're going to plug this into this input here. So uh, our first device is going into DIN 2. Our second one is going into DIN 3. Now let's set up our MIDI output. So again, the goal here is to take uh, the signals coming from both of uh, those outputs from those devices, and we wanna merge that. We wanna combine those signals. So every signal that comes from those inputs is gonna go to one single destination. So now what I've gotta do, the final piece of this, is take this additional final cable, and I'm gonna plug into the DIN 1 output on the front of the device. So let's get that plugged in there, okay? So now we have all of our connections made. So again, our inputs are here, right? These are coming from our multiple uh, uh, different devices. And then our output to our destination is here. Now, to make this happen, again, we wanna keep this really simple. Uh, we're going to use Oracle for X Series, which is the free control software for my connectivity. I've included the link in the description of this video if you wanna download that for free. Uh, and we're gonna make our MIDI routing happen. So let's go into Oracle for X Series. The first thing I wanna do is go to the MIDI routing tab. And this is a real simple question. I basically say, where are my sources, where are my inputs coming from? And if you remember, we plug those into the back of the device. So I wanna say, take whatever was plugged into the input of DIN2, and where do I wanna send that? I wanna send that to the output of DIN1. Now why DIN1? Well, that's where we plugged in our cable in the front. Okay, so whatever goes into DIN2 is going to go out to DIN1. Now, same thing, we plugged in another cable into DIN3 in the back. We wanna say whatever goes in into DIN3 I also want to come out of DIN 1. And it's as simple as that. We merged our signals together to one single destination, one single output. I, but you may be going, but Will, this is great, but the beauty of those other boxes is I don't have to be connected to a computer. You're connected via USB here. Well, let me show you one of my favorite uh, tricks with the Mio gear and the iConnectivity gear, which is the ability to save presets. And here's how that benefits us. So let's go out of our MIDI routing um, tab here and let's go to presets and we're gonna go to save preset as, and just to be safe, I'm gonna do save to all presets. If you happen to have some other presets saved, then you can save it to a specific one, but I'm gonna do save to all presets. Let's continue. And then now that preset is saved, and here's the beauty of that. We can now disconnect the Mio XM from our computer, and we have a isolated piece of hardware that's dedicated to simply merging two signals to one single output. But the beauty of this setup is this can do so much more. RTP MIDI, we could connect to a computer, we could connect USB MIDI, uh, so many other things that can be done with this device. So if you need a real simple solution, check out the Mio XM or Mio XL. And if you need uh, a, a solution that makes complex things simple, then also check out the Mio XM or Mio XL. Now, if you have any questions that I didn't cover uh, in this video, check out the link in the description of this video to contact support. And thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.